Hello everyone, with you, the History of Pi channel. Today, there is a new interesting story from the Stolen History Forum. Here's a look at this interesting photo. The capital was excavated 10 meters down. Look at this huge foundation. Well, of course we can say that it's just a reconstruction that is increasing the visitor reception center. Pay attention to the columns under the stairs. If to the right and left of the stairs, we see the usual formwork, then the staircase is supported by columns almost in the Roman style. Here you can see huge rectangular blocks that did not have time to be removed. And here they have already built a shed on the construction site. Inconvenient artifacts can be removed under the protection of the canopy. It turns out there was a huge foundation in the capital. Let's figure out where it came from. The foundation stone of the capital was laid by George Washington in 1793 year. In 1800, Congress met for the first time in the unfinished capital. In 1814 year, the capital was burned by the British and the restoration work took five years. This is where the inconsistencies begin. In the year 1800, we already have an unfinished capital, which means not all the walls have already been completed, but at least the foundation of the capital was almost finished. The population of Washington during this period was 8,000 people. Look again at the depth of the foundation structure, and here are the residents of the city. The number and 8,000 people in seven years dug out the foundation, overlaid it with stone, and began to build walls. It seems to me that the residents of the city did not do anything else but only built the basements of the capital. Let's go further. In 1814 year, the capital was burned by the British. Here is an interesting engraving showing the burned capital. This is 1814 year. We see that the capital is built on a hill. The right arrow shows the area that was excavated during reconstruction in the 20th century. And so it turns out that already at the beginning of the 19th century, the central part of the capital was already built and had a very deep foundation. Let's see how much the east side of the capital is buried. Here is a view from the undiscovered side. The red line shows how high the ground is on the back side of the building, and this is a top view to visually understand where the excavations have recently been. Here, I have marked the elevation difference in front of the capital, 11 meters above sea level, behind the capital, 26 meters above sea level. So the back of the capital has a foundation depth of 15 meters, and this foundation was laid in the early 19th century in a town with a population of 8,000 people. Here for clarity, we are standing in front of the capital at an altitude of 11 meters above sea level. Here with an arrow, I indicated the beginning of the hillside. And here we are in the backyard of the capital, where the excavations will be carried out. The height above sea level is 26 meters. We have an interesting situation emerging. The people of a small town in the early 19th century dug a huge pit in the hillside and laid a powerful foundation for a huge building. Look again at the columns under the stairs. Here's another interesting photo. There is an already built capital, and we see a dirty clay slope. When you look at this photo, you immediately begin to believe that this building was covered with clay on one side for an unknown reason. Here's a look at my favorite Polytechnic, isn't it a very similar picture? This building was burned down by the British in 1814 year. The restoration work took five years. In 1820, 1827 year, the southern and northern wings of the building were connected by a passage from which the dome ascended. 30 years later, the capital was deemed insufficiently spacious and its expansion began. Instead of the old dome, a new cast iron one was built, 87 meters high, and weighing 4,000 tons. 
on the 2nd of December, 1863. The final touch was added to the architectural appearance of the building. A six-meter statue of Liberty is armed on the dome. According to historians, by the middle of the 19th century, the Capitol building was completed. We have a giant building built in a small town, but nowhere is it told that the building was built on a hillside. There are no engravings and photographs of the foundation construction. Here is a photo of 1846th year, the building is already standing. 1857th year, photo of the construction of a connecting corridor between the old and new wing of the building. It is not visible that any earthworks were carried out, they probably built the corridors without a foundation. 1860, the dome has not yet been completed, but look how ridiculous this building looks compared to the surrounding small houses. In the foreground, there is an interesting masonry. Again, 1860 is building a dome. There is a feeling that almost all the photos either build a dome or carry out minor repairs. There is no foundation work anywhere, neither in the engravings nor in the photographs. And interestingly, the building was built in stages according to history. At the beginning of the main building, other parts of the building were attached to it. So, there are no photos of the construction of the underground part of the capital. There are only photos where small repairs are carried out. And there are also photos of the construction of the Capitol Dome. There is a complete feeling that in the middle of the 19th century, people came to the city where there was a huge partially destroyed building. The building was covered with clay on one side. This building was simply restored. A new dome was erected on it and began to be used for their own purposes. I don't believe that the residents of a small town could lay the foundation for such a huge structure. I didn't find any photos of the excavation work, there are photos of only the finished building. Therefore, either 8,000 residents of the city laid the foundation for the entire building in 1,800, which seems unreal to me, or it was a building of a past civilization of half-buried clay. I think Washington is an ancient Roman-style city that was settled by Europeans at the beginning of the 19th century. There were ancient monuments in this city, which were then rebuilt. For example, the Washington Monument, a video about the monument in the description. There were also ancient buildings in it that were simply renovated. So the Capitol is a well-preserved building of a past civilization, and the recent reconstruction shows this very clearly. That's it, watch my channel.